Sad at camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Horizon 5. We're going to be taking the A90 that you guys saw in Drift Setup last episode. And we're going to take it to the streets and try and grip and drift it in races. And see if we can't win with the drift car. So make sure you follow me on all social media. If you're not subbed to the channel, I would appreciate you tapping that subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video and you guys want to see more. Before we continue the video, big thank you to The Coldest Water for sponsoring the channel and being a supporter of the channel. Big thank you to them for sending me out. All these bottles that i have so they do have a awesome deal going on right now blackout deal make sure you guys check it all the links will be down in the description box below all the information and everywhere just click on the link it'll take you right where you gotta go make sure you use all the promo codes that are in the description box below to get your own coldest water they got a definitely a good deal going on this month ends at the end of the month so let's get to it So, real quick, before we fully get going, we're going to have to make sure that our uh, handbrake is um, checked in. There we go. Save and continue. But another thing I do want to guys show you guys up is clubs. I did bring up the Team Evil Rabbit Club. If you search EVL, you can find the club if you guys want to join in the club and join and support the club here on Forza Horizon 5. The club is up. So, search EVL in the clubs or Team Evil Rabbit. You should be able to find it. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's go see if we can't grip race our A90. And there is a race right here. So, we're just going to drive to that. And when I say drive, we're going to be going sideways. Safe to do so. In 200 yards. First time I've actually driven this game at night. Let's get that cursor out of the way of my screen. Can't break it onto the street. There we go. Oh, we're going this way. A little street drift action going on to go into this race. Like I said, we're going to try and race this uh, Supra in its current drift setting. Because we are on drift tires as well as drift suspension. And we're going to see if this is a bad decision about trying to race in a grip style or a drift style car, but. Let me see what happens. You have arrived at your destination. As long as we don't have too much dirt, we should be okay. We're gonna go single. Relapse. Uh, is it gonna let us run the A90? It will let us run the A90. It's recommending uh, a not drift car. So, well, we're going drift car. I said we were doing drift car. We're doing drift car. But we're rocking that A90. Which is a little bit different if you notice it's a flat gray now with some decals and things on it. A little bit subtle changes. The Evil Rabbit logos are now up also in the uh, decal area. If you guys want to add that to your car and show your support as well. I'm winning easily. Um, We're going to leave it how it is now because I'm not sure how this is going to work with a drift car in a race. But we're going to find out. Oh, no traction off the start. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this could be pretty hard. I feel like trying to grip race a drift car. Oh, a little bit steppy. Nothing major though. It might help us in these turns though. We go full send. Oh, we're getting left if we purposely drift this. So maybe we're just gonna try and manage the slides I feel like this makes racing so much more fun oh boy all the pedal work though oh I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to win this but I mean you know I had the bright idea of bringing the, the A90 in its grip setup out here <laughs> we got two more laps to catch up, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Kind of grip that turn. But this is just showing you that my the wheel settings, somebody did ask if the wheel settings I did in the last video were good for all around. Uh, they are actually good for all around. As you can see, we're kind of... Oh, we're definitely catching them now.
I'm gonna try to take this turn in a crit. Oh, it steps out. So I did get some information from a subscriber about the drift cam, and I'm gonna go turn that on. He did say it was in HUD settings, so we're gonna go check that out after this race. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, Toretto. Oh, I see Toretto. We uh, knocked it on the back of his Audi. <laughs> Just lighting these tires up. Maybe we are still winning these races too early. We may have to up the difficulty, but I wasn't sure. Because I said we we're going to try it. Oh, grip this car. I missed my shifter. So, can you grip race a drift car? Yes. Yes, you can. Here in Horizon, you can. Definitely probably going to be changing up the car that I drive on the normal. A90, definitely a fun car, but uh, I think I might go with a Z or a BMW for my normal all-around driving through the city car. Up down the third. Oh, yeah. So we may actually bump our difficulty up. I'm noticing we are very far ahead. So, you know, we're going to go full send and drift on this lap then. Oh, don't wreck it. Just a tap. Cracking taillights. Whoa, I'm just trying to keep a hold of this car right now. Oh, that's not good. We got past. We're trying to show about a little bit too much. Sorry, we got this. Slipstream him. Little bump. Quick tap of the brakes through this section. Oh, we got it. So if we weren't showing off too much, we probably would have been way further ahead. But we did take that win with a bit of a cracked headlight and everything. But we did finish that in um, glorious fashion, actually. So we are going to check and turn on drift camera and see how the drift camera is in Forza Horizon 5. So we can grip race a drift car. I say drift car because, well... It's fully set up for drifting with drift tires and uh, drift suspension. Same from last time, haven't changed it. So if you guys want to see a video, wheel spin. If you guys want to see a video on difference between the tires and drifting, I might actually do that. I wanted that M4. I didn't really want the Hellcat, but all right. I wanted that M4. So I am going to do a video hey, here Andy. about the difference between this all of the... Horizon tour. It's the place to meet up with friends, sit back and well, tour across Mexico. You should check it out when you have the time. I will do that, but I will do, was planning on doing a video to show the difference between street tires, drift tires, and all the different tires and drifting aspects. Hey, so if you guys want to see that, let me know, know down in the comments. I busy, but I have um, festival facilities way over capacity. So if you wanted to push for that next big expansion, that would be very helpful. Um, okay. Well, first, we're going to go turn on our drift camera. I heard it was in HUD settings. Buds and gameplay. Chase far, chase near. Head to head request, default speedometer. Cockpit drift camera on. So, we're going to leave it all stock and see if it is how it was in Forza Horizon 4. We do have drift camera on now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Not bad. For factory settings. I may want to uh, turn up the look speed a little bit more. But overall, not too bad. It's in street drifting in the A90. What's the drift camera? It's right here. Yeah, we may want to turn up look speed. It does feel like it's a little bit sluggish. But it's not bad. 
popping that curve though. Come on, do this way. There we go. Well, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so let's pick up the speed a little bit on that. I feel like I want it to look a little bit faster than that. Let's go back into HUD. All right, drift camera. Drift camera sensitivity, look speed. Let's up this to, let's up it to 35. And see if that actually helps. I wish it would look apex when you're actually not drifting. Like a set of courses neck function. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's kick that. We need a car with more power, which means I feel like we should bring out the FD cars. Because we know they're in here. Roger Goss moves 890 and all that. So if you guys want to see some drifting with the drift with the FD cars, let me know down in the description box below. Big thank you guys for coming out for another video here at Forza Horizon 5. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.